Good morning, modern steaders. It's three degrees out this morning. It's kind of crazy. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, and this is like January, February temperatures. You ready for this cold? No. Good morning, guys. So you want that bus to hurry up so you can get warm, huh? Yes. But is the bus going to be warm? It should be. It, it should be. Yesterday. That's good. Have a good day at school. Yeah. Stay warm. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Guys, want some warm water? Good morning, goats. Did you stay warm? You look a little frosted up there on the old mustache, Willow. About you girls. I got you some nice, fresh, warm water. We'll swap out your buckets. There you go. Glad I keep the wipes inside, they're nice and warm. Come on, Willow. Our winters normally don't start out this cold. All I know is I hope this isn't a sign of what winter's going to be. They're calling for another big snowstorm tomorrow, about five to eight inches of snow. Whew. We get the snow tires put on this afternoon, just in time, I guess. Guys, you know it's cold when you get a little bit of milk on your milking stand? And it's already frozen by the time you're done milking. Ah, this weather's crazy this early. <laughs> so the goats get one to two flakes of hay a day. So if it's a small flake like this, they get two, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. If it's a large flake, I only give them one. I kind of have an odd problem. I don't think too many people have it. You, well, you might, but maybe not for the same reasons. I'm trying to figure out the best way to lug water. I got a Gatlin jug in my feed, but for me it's hard. I usually try to do a five gallon bucket in the feed then I can't carry the camera. So it's like, how can I carry the camera, carry the feed, and bring water all at the same time? Ah, oh, dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. Curious if the girls will come out today. There you go. Oh. Whoa. Froze good overnight with those single digits. <laughs> Look at all that ice. That froze good. You ladies have enough of being inside?
guess we'll see how you do with that amount of feed today. If you eat it all, bring some more out. I am very thankful that you all convinced me to put the path in the stone wall. This is so much better, especially with all this snow, guys. Oh, I'm glad we got that done in time. We might not have got everything done in time before winter came, but the projects that we did get done, I am excited that we got them done. The ones that we didn't, it's all right. If we can't get New York City moved this year, we'll just take the chickens and put them up in the winter greenhouse without New York City. We'll give it another week or so and see what happens. And then the chicken tractors will just have to stay in the pasture till the snow melts or springtime. We'll see which comes first. So lately, Figaro's been sleeping on a pile of clothes right here. So when we got home, the Olivia's old doll bed was right on the ground last night. And Gina said, hey, let's put some towels on it. See if Figaro sleeps on there. Your cat's got a cat bed now. He's loving it. I don't know, because he doesn't do anything he wanted to do. I know, uh, but look at him. Right here. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. The camera's all fogged up from being outside. I feel terrible. I forgot to do this yesterday. I make this so it's movable because we need to be able to vent the greenhouse. We don't want it completely airtight. That's not good for the chickens either. That should cut down on most of the drafts. If you don't have your chicken coop vented, it's gonna fill up with moisture, and then you're gonna have ice crystals, and the moisture is actually what's gonna hurt the chickens more than the cold. So you wanna make sure that there's no moisture in the chicken coop. I know, there's so much stuff you have to do for winter time. That's it, I'm moving to Arizona. I'm off to go get snow tires on the truck. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing how much more traction we have, especially in the upcoming snowstorm we're getting tonight into tomorrow morning. Oh, I think it's gonna be a brutal winter. I'm just glad it warmed up a little bit. Right now the truck's saying it's 21 degrees out. We're having a heat wave, guys. <laughs> ah. You know what, guys? As cold as it gets sometimes in the winter, seeing views like that never gets old. Uh, I love winter. So we got the new tires on. I was hoping to get some footage of the tire changeover, but I wasn't able to. We'll get it some other time. But I ended up getting, uh, let's see, Nokian. Here we go, turn around. I ended up getting Nokian Hakapleta SUVs. They're studded. They got a nice aggressive tread on them. There we go. Which is nice because they'll clean the snow out and the snow won't get stuck in. All those studs will really help us with traction too. Our friends over in Finland make some awesome snow tires. You guys make the best tires. Thank you. These things kick butt. The channel's not sponsored by Nokia, but they make an awesome snow tire. These are the factory tires. And on these ones, the treads are all tight. There's no way for the snow to get out. So they got awesome traction until they get filled up with snow and then they just spin and there's no way for the snow to, to empty out. Where these ones, have been riding on our dirt road covered in snow, and there's no snow in them. They are such an aggressive tread. They got the right design so it shoots the snow out. It gives you good traction. Then we got the studs all the way. If you live in a northern climate and you get snow a lot, it's definitely a good thing to get. Or if you plan on moving to an area that gets snow, put it in the budget to get good snow tires. I'm still learning this plow, but I think that's all I gotta do. Now I'm just plug it in. Boom! I've always been a Fisher snow plow guy, and it doesn't go that easy. So, I'm always like, is it on? I didn't have to do anything. We're in 
two-wheel drive. Let's see if I spin. crazy snow is such a good insulator it was three degrees this morning and it's been cold the last couple of days and all this gravel I just dug up because it's not frozen so the plow just hit it and dug it up that's nuts but where I plowed is as hard as a rock so it's just amazing how well of an insulator snow is the other day with the factory tires, I was getting stuck in my gravel driveway with the new studded hack of pelitas. I'm out plowing all the hill and everything, not getting stuck. I didn't set the camera up and take you guys along because I only had a few minutes. I had to get Olivia off the bus in a minute. But hopefully now I can let the goats out in this area once we get a little more snow. Just got to shovel out their gate. Andy, he's right there hiding on you. Looks like we got a traffic jam at New York City. You girls coming out or what? Right here. I'll hold it down for you. Is Moose hiding today? You gotta come a little bit further for your water. Moose, why don't you come on out? Toughen up, man, toughen up. I don't know. They're crazy. He's loud. It vibrates. Moose? Yeah. He's making music. He is, but it's loud. Oops. Crack it. She's done. Why, hello. Thank you for your little presents. Have fun. And he's venturing his way over. Wow. So what do you think? You gonna have school tomorrow or is it gonna be canceled? I don't know. You don't know? Do you want it to be canceled? I do because of PE, but I don't. What's PE? Gym class? Yeah. Comes Pluto. You guys gonna spend the night over here now? You should. We're gonna make some mashed potatoes tonight in our instant pot. Adding one cup of water. I'm doing six potatoes. Putting them in, not peeled. And then I'm gonna cook them for between 12 and 15 minutes. Tonight we're cooking a nice grass fed ribeye. This video is sponsored by farmfoods.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. Gina's been going to seeing a nutritionalist lately, and believe it or not, her nutritionalist said, you need to start eating red meat. And we got into contact with farmfoods.com. They are a source to get grass-fed beef. They work with a few different farms across the US, 
And uh, I was talking with the owner, Johan. One of the things he's really excited about is when he talks to the farmers, just how much of a difference this website has made for their farms. So it's exciting that you think about it, buying meat, you're actually helping out these small family farms. And it's just encouraging. I'm just putting a little bit of salt and pepper on each side of our beef. If you check out their website, they have all the different farms they work with. They got videos with all the farms, you know, right where your meat comes from. There'll be a link in the description down below. If you click on that and use promo code LA10, you're gonna get 10% off your order. And if you order 10 pounds or more, you get free shipping. When I was talking with Johan, he was telling me about some of the farms. And one of the farms, he says that they actually have to take the cows by horseback up into the mountain and they leave the cows there for a few months, let them graze during the good grass season. Then they bring the cows back down with horses to the farm when they can't graze anymore. He was saying that there's no way to get to where the cows are except by horseback. I just think that's awesome. It makes me think of like the old Western movies. You know the cows are eating good. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and then I'm gonna get it cooking. What's that? I want to shove that steak in my face right now. You want to shove this, this steak right here? In your face not cooked? We got to cook it first, don't we? Yeah. Yeah? It does look so good, don't it? It's going to be a good dinner tonight, huh? I want to make sure the pan's nice and hot. Add a little bit of oil. I want to get a good sear on the steak. Get a little caramelized. Get it a little caramelized and give it some good flavor. I want to sear it on both sides. It's got a good sear on it. Turn it over. Ah, oh, looks delicious. Look at the other side searing out. I'm gonna finish it off in the oven. I don't remember which one of you left in the comments about doing mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot this way, but it is so quick and easy. Thank you for the suggestion. That's what's left from paling six potatoes. Nuts. I got the steak up to 140 degrees, and then I'll let it rest for about five, 10 minutes, and then we'll eat it for dinner. Got that 145, perfect. Since we don't raise our own beef here, it's nice knowing we can get good quality grass-fed meat and know where it's coming from. Looks so delicious. Oh, that's cooked perfectly for us. Does that look good? Yes. Yes. You're excited for some nice steak? Yes. That's good. Hey, the cook gets to try it. Hey, I want a piece. Can I try a piece? The cook, the cook gets to try it. Oh, did I you did. cook it? Yes. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. There you go. There you go. Is it good? Lady first. Woman first. Woman first. Woman. Yeah, because I'm a child. For mommy's doctor visit to be able to help friends out with all the blessings and provisions she provides. Amen. It's nice because steak's one of those things we don't eat a lot and it can be expensive to get good steak. But if you're going to get a good steak, 
If you guys spend the money on the steak, it's nice to know you're getting a good one. Does it pass your inspection? I was gonna say, it's been a while since we had a good steak. We had one, me and you, a few weeks ago, but Olivia, oh, yeah. Olivia had hasn't one. had them. But we haven't eaten steak, steak stuff for a long time. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had chopped beef. We're really excited that we found a place that we can go online, order our meat from, and know where it's coming from. We can find out what farm it's from. We know what they ate. We can order steaks. We can order burger. We can order bones to make our own bone, bone broth. We can order liver, hearts, whatever whatever our heart desires. <laughs> oh, guys, sorry about that one. It's getting kind of late. but. I'm going to have a link in the video description down below. If you click on the link, it will bring you to farmfoods.com. If you use the promo code LA10, you save 10% off your first order and you get free shipping. I believe if you order 10 pounds or more and there's other items that you get free shipping on. So check out their website. Thanks for supporting us and thanks for, for supporting Farm Foods. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.